welcome to this week's edition of Jaguar News. I'm Armida Zapeta. And I'm Julie Ginter. This school year may be coming to an end, but renovations to the cafeteria are just the beginning. Jaguar News reporter Lelani Robinson gives us more on the changes happening at South. The new cafeteria will look similar to the ASU's cafeteria. It will include students and teacher restrooms, flat screen TVs, and movable walls with more furniture. These are the original blueprints of the current cafeteria. The maximum capacity is 247. But with the new cafeteria renovations, the maximum capacity will be much higher. I sat down with Ms. Williams to find out why we're getting a new cafeteria. Um, there's a smell that is really bad, and I know that's due to, you know, it being very old and not being um, able to get down to the sewage lines and things like that. The cafeteria renovations affect staff and students, but the effect is only temporary. It's going to seriously impact uh, staff and students because on the 17th of April, the cafeteria will be shut down is going to shift and we're going to make our South Gym into a makeshift cafeteria. It is only temporary, but in the end, the cafeteria will be a much more enjoyable place to hang out. It's going to be the same size. The square footage is not going to change, but there's going to be different kinds of seating and levels of seating and nicer uh, tables. It's going to be a more beautiful environment, which I really believe impacts a student mind frame. Innovation should only take up to four months. The cafeteria will reopen on the first day of school. Reporting for Jaguar News, I'm Leilani Robinson. Here is a schedule for the AZ Merit Testing Week. This past Thursday, the student government hosted a town hall. Reporter Amanda Salome brings you more on this event. Silence and tears came upon students who attended the youth town hall event held by Stugo. Three guest speakers were invited, including Southbound Junior Sabrina Gutierrez, to remind students the dangers prom can hold. One of the speakers, Julia Garcia, was able to touch students emotionally with her powerful poem and moving activity. Anna Rodriguez, the presenter of the event, explains the lessons students went home with. And drinking does have its consequences. A lot of people, the majority of the time, you know, they don't see it, especially the high school students here. You know, you do hear a lot about people going out every weekend. So a lot of them, they don't hear the consequences that they have, that we have, or they don't really think about them too much. Kelly Liberman works for the Phoenix Fire Department and had something he wanted to get out to students. There is nothing more valuable than human life. And to have the impact and the ability to help save someone's life and prevent harm to them is absolutely priceless. Man. Mr. Jackson, a youth leadership facilitator, felt it was the right time to set out an important message about prom. We know by facts that, um, and statistics in South Mountain that um, the risk of car accidents and underage drinking and drug use um, rises during prom weekend. Although a large number of students left early for ACE Hour, it was still an event to remember. For Jaguar News, I'm Amanda Salome. Summer school is May 26th through June 25th, and the registration deadline is Friday the 15th. There will be sessions in the morning and the afternoon with different subjects available to take and efforts to catch up or get ahead on credits. Free breakfast and lunch will be provided. See your counselor for more information. After the break, someone on campus is having their artwork shown in an upcoming Marvel movie. Find out who it is. We'll be right back.
Sign up for summer school and take Spanish one two. Sign up for summer school and take Spanish one two. And if you already took one two and three four in the fall, we're gonna offer just a little bit more. Spanish five six dual enrollment this fall. College credit. See your counselor. Get signed up. That's all. X-Men Apocalypse will be the next installment of the Marvel series, and while it's not due until 2016, one art teacher at South is looking forward to see the movie, but more importantly, his artwork on the big screen. Jose Contreras brings us more on the story. Sonny Shalola has been teaching at South Mountain for more than eight years, but an art piece he made back in the 80s is being used in the upcoming X-Men film. So I believe it's going to be in the background somewhere, so pro probably one of the actors or uh, the main guy is going to be, you know, in the front of it, and the painting will be featured in the background. The monoprint titled Dawn in the Canyon was made as part of a series of monoprints by Shalola. It was inspired by the scenic views of Arizona, but instead of asking for money, Shalola asked just to be on the movie credits. So that means after the movie, my name will be listed in there, which is nice, which is nice, you know. In the art room, Shalola is an example to his students that hard work has its rewards. And some of them said, really? Yes, yeah. You know, and most of them are really excited about art now. Just from knowing that their teacher's hard work is going to be. You know, I told me, well, if you work hard, that's a reward for everything. So This will be Shalola's last year at South as he will be retiring to focus on his business. But it will not be an easy move to make. It gives me joy to wake up in the morning and come into school to see some of these these guys, you know, especially the you know the ones that are in art. One of my students, I want to say his name. I was just looking at his portfolio from freshman year. It's unbelievable how much he has improved. X Men Apocalypse is scheduled for release in 2016. For Jaguar News, I'm Jose Contreras. South Mountain High School will soon undergo a transformation. South Mountain's makeover officially starts April 17th, and it will be the last time lunch will be served in the current cafeteria. Starting April 20th, lunch will be served in the South Gym. There will be six lunch lines inside the gym and two food carts outside. The temporary cafeteria will provide cold and lunch, hot lunches as usual. Another change is happening at South. It's the Dean's Office, or as it will be known from now on, the Office of Student Success. Congratulations to Dr. Palacios on receiving her doctorate degree from Arizona State University. She is an inspiration to her students. And now for our social media segment, here is Christian Guzman. Has society really moved on or does discrimination still exist? I am social media reporter Chris Guzman and you're watching Social Jacks. Indiana has passed a new law that has everyone going crazy. The Religious Freedom Restoration Act allows any religious business owners to discriminate against the LGBT community. This law has been written so vaguely that it allows the business to discriminate against any religion or race. Many celebrities have spoken their mind about this new law. Ellen Jenner is tweeted, for anyone who has refused service under hashtag Indiana's new law, you deserve better. Accepting and progress takes time but they always arrive. My girl Rihanna also spoke her mind out at her March Madness Music Festival performance by saying this law is BS. Actor Ashton Kutcher also took a jab by tweeting, Indiana, are you also going to allow Christian establishments to ban Jews from coming in or vice versa? Religious freedom, hashtag outrage. This law is seriously ridiculous. Let's forget about the hate and join me and some fellow South Mountain students at the Phoenix Pride Parade, which will be taking place this Sunday. It will start at 3rd Street in Thomas and end at 3rd Street in Indian School. This is all for this week. Now back to you guys. The Aspar Youth Career Fair is taking place at Phoenix College. It will take place on April 25th at 8.30 and will end at 2.30 in the afternoon. It is open to you 14 to 21 of age. For more information, call 602-416-7233.
give hope. Hope Fest will be held Saturday, April 18th at Chase Field Ballpark. Hope Fest Phoenix is the largest same-day direct service charitable event in Arizona. That's it for this week's edition of Jaguar News. We leave you with a recap of this week's Spirit Week festivities. Goodbye! Hey South Mountain, Christopher Ray is here and as most of you guys know, or as most of you guys are about to find out, Spirit Week was last week. So day number one, Colors of Spain. Day number two, Propose to your prom. Oh, not Propose to your prom. Day number two, Propose to your date for prom. Yeah, I said that right, right? Let me check real quick. It's, uh, uh, this is why you prepare for things before. Oh, number two, propose to your date to go to prom. That's what it is. Wednesday was wear your craziest tie-dye shirt. Thursday is wear red again. And Friday is Spirit Day. It's a day where you can represent your school in any shape, way, or form that you would like. And this is what we got. So that's it for Spirit Week. We hope that next Spirit Week we have a crazier, more spirited week. And we thank you. This is Chris Reyes, and I'm back to you guys.